Hello everyone, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can get some tips on trips for daily number two so it can improve the work. So if you already know what daily number two is, we can just really jump right into it. If you don't know what daily number two, well, I can tell you in a general way that this is an AI system that's going to be helping us to create realistic images just by making a quick description. So uh, as you can see, if you've already tried the Dali number two application, you might see that it might be a little difficult to try to have really created results. So what you want to do to have like more better results, what I can strongly suggest to you is to start with not only one, but more than two artificial intelligent platform that can generate images for you. So since Dali number two works for for credits, I'm going to go here into my dashboard. I'm going to give you guys a link down below in the description so you can start creating your account a uh, really, really easy way. So here, as you can see, this is an image that was created with Dubmet Journey with Stable Diffusion and different other art generator. Here you can see I have a history of all the images that I've created. But I can tell you that from my point of experience, it's a little hard to try the actual um, daily to do what I wanted to. So for example, uh, this image that actually is this one, this image, this images that you see in here that are like a little bit realistic were generated from other A and I. Uh, artificial intelligence systems and then I make some variants between all of them so like they were working together the computer create itself this one so it's not it's not that bad I guess but uh, I think that if you have more than one generator it can be helping you improve the, the quality of what you are looking for so and of course, it's depending on what is the description you ask for Delhi. As you can see, I just asked for a painting of an astronaut riding a well in a galaxy. But I don't want to ask, for example, I didn't add the 4K, the high quality, uh, looking from, from the left to the right, uh, this guy raising a hand. So I want to be as much descriptive as I can. So as you can see, this image was generated for other place and I didn't like that very much. But here, as you can see, this was something that was generated for different options. So here I have stable diffusion. I have a hot pod.i and here I do have different ways to, uh, let's say to just um, create my own images here into hot pod.a. For example, I asked for a watercolor painting of a unicorn in high quality. And this is what I get. But here I do have this style. So here I want to look for something like water color like this. I can ask for randomize and hit into create. Now we are just able to have free credit creation. So we can just ask for five things here into the application in order to start working. So what I did here is to have the image I downloaded the image and then I am here into stable diffusion to do exactly the same thing until I find an image that I kind of like because once again since these uh, both applications are totally for free I mean DALI of course is for free as well but we are limited by credit so you don't want to spend all of that in just one uh, in one day so that's the reason why I do want to use another places to start generating my own ideas and then what I wanted to do to DALI number two is to make some variations of what I just have because DALI has really great ideas for for doing that so uh, I'm going to select here DALI number two or even you can do backwards so there's another application called Mitjoni now Mitjoni actually does really really great stuff so here with my journey what i did is to do the opposite so here with dali i'm going to go into the history i'm going to show you an image that was created by this guys actually it's this variation like this so this image was generated from dali I'm going to scroll a little bit down so you guys can see like the original. I'm not pretty sure if I can see the original here, but um, 
just take in mind that it, this image was generated from DALI and then I imported this image into Midjourney and Midjourney transformed into this. So it's really, really, really great uh, work from Midjourney part. But I started doing my own work using DALI number two. So both artificial intelligence platforms did something really realistic and easy and really amazing. I mean, if I asked some freelancer to do this, this could be taking me like more than $200, I'm pretty sure. But this one has been generated like totally for free. And I can just uh, edit a few stuff here into DALI number two, for example. Uh, you might not see this, but I can see that this, uh, this neck, it's like two up. So I can just move this a little bit more in here. Uh, this car, for example, this window is too high than this other one. This one, I don't know what this that is. What is this um, red stuff in the sky? So these are just details that you can edit here into your DALI number two. So um, as you can see, the hot pod did something like too basic. So if you want to just like uh, to don't use that, Let's say, for example, that I kind of like this, for example, I, I do like this variation. So I select this variation and I choose to save this image. And I go into Delhi. I go into the description section and hit into upload my image that was generated by, of course, the other artificial intelligence. So here it is, I hit into open. Of course, this one is just uh, for square because it only works with squares. I'm going to hit into crop and look for generate variations to see if the computer analyze all the colors, all the images, all the character. So everything I want to see in the image, I want you to see variation from Delhi number two. And just like that, Delhi number two created something more realistic and more interesting. But as you can see, for example, this uh, kind of armed from the unicorn does, doesn't look like so well. So I think like so far, the, bet, the best resolution is this one. So what I can do once again is to save this image and import that into something else, for example, mid journey. And here into mid journey, I can do exactly the same thing. Import uh, my items and make some variations and everything has been successfully done now If you want to edit like a specific details from your images I can strongly suggest you to use DALI number two because DALI number two has the edit section and Here you can delete like one specific piece of your image like I want to see what it what happens here with the foot so I want to choose this and this and this I don't want to see this and I want to change, for example, the color like this and be descriptive here into DALI number two for what you exactly want to see into your new image. So that's the reason, uh, that's how guys we can improve and have like the best results for our artificial intelligence images and you don't have to even pay for absolutely anything guys. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great tools about the Dali number two and more artificial intelligence platforms. Thank you once again for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.